10 Ocean Animals Humans Were Never Meant to See The ocean is the most threatening and terrifying location on the planet, whether they are barely beneath the surface or lurking in the deepest recesses of the ocean. We've only explored 5% of the ocean, so it's not hard to believe that these scary and daunting creatures actually exist. And with this statistic in mind, there are probably millions of unknown and unseen species waiting to be discovered. But that doesn't mean that spine-chilling creatures have not been found yet. In this video, we're sharing with you the 10 ocean animals that we could have left unseen. You'll never want to put on another pair of swim trunks after seeing one of these underwater monsters. Starting at number 10. The Southern Ocean Giant Sea Spider is the stuff of nightmares. With a leg span of 25 centimeters that roughly equals the world's largest land spiders. Sea spiders are members of the Pycnogonida family of anthropods, which can be found scuttling around the bottom of many of the world's oceans and seas. The majority of sea spiders are small. They only become huge at the poles, which is a trait shared by many marine animals. Although it lives at the bottom of the Antarctic Ocean, this creature is terrifying enough to strike the fears of many. At number 9, with a scientific name that translates to Hell's Vampire Squid, discovered in the dark depths of the Mesopelagic Zone, approximately 3,300 feet below the surface of the ocean, the vampire squid inverts its cloak when disturbed, revealing enormous spines on the underside of its arms. But fear not. Although this species appears to be dangerous, it is actually extremely docile. The vampire squid is neither an octopus nor a squid. It's a one-of-a-kind creature that scientists have divided into its own category. Since studying vampire squids in their native environment is difficult, little is known about their behavior. Scientists will hopefully learn more about this rare and fascinating creature as deep-sea exploration continues. Coming up at number 8, the sleek, silvery, and have moderate bioluminescence along their bellies, the Pacific viperfish are dangerous predators of small fish and shrimp. They're among the many marine species that move from the ocean's depths to shallower surface waters each night to feed. The needle-like teeth of the Pacific viperfish are vital to their hunting method. The two front fangs, which extend from the bottom jaw and past the fish's eyes, are particularly striking to the human eye. When viperfish unhinge their jaws, their lips can open wide enough to swallow prey, while their teeth form a cage to keep the prey from escaping. Next at number 7. The Deep Sea Dragonfish Also known as a scaleless dragonfish is a vicious predator that lives in the world's deepest oceans. It possesses enormous teeth in comparison to its physical size. Despite its horrible appearance, it is a little fish that only measures approximately 6 inches or 15 centimeters in length. When an unsuspecting fish approaches too close, the dragonfish's enormous teeth aid in the capture of its food as it hunts in the deep sea's dark waters. Because dragonfish reside in extremely deep waters, nothing is known about their mating habits. They are thought to be external spawners, meaning the female releases eggs into the water for the male to fertilize. Little is known about the dragonfish's lifespan either. Next up at number 6, on top of their bodies are their noses, gill slits, eyes, and the entirety of their mouth. Their amazing pectoral fins come in handy while excavating and burying in the sand. They wait for their meal by burying themselves in the sand, with their mouth and eyes protruding. With their big heads, flat foreheads, and speckled flat bodies, the northern stargazers have a bizarre and striking appearance. Northern stargazers are called the meanest fish in creation, and they have an organ on their heads that can generate an electric charge of up to 50 volts that can stun their victims and repel predators. You're bluffing if you say that that doesn't horrify you. At number 5. If you've seen Finding Nemo, you're probably familiar with this fish. The deep-sea anglerfish spends its existence in the loneliest and harshest habitat completely away from sunlight. Because deepwater anglerfish may not encounter suitable prey on a regular basis, they have huge mouths and stomachs, as well as long, sharp teeth to aid in grabbing and eating anything they come across. They utilize their modified dorsal fin spine as a prey lure, 
They successfully attract pelagic crustaceans, fish, and other animals by pulsing the light and moving the lure back and forth. Even Marlin and Dory, who were dwellers of the ocean, were terrified of the anglerfish. Kicking off to number 4, one of the most unique deep-sea species is the mystery gulper eel, often known as the pelican eel. The gulper eel has a long, narrow body that undulates back and forth to travel through the water, much like a regular eel. Gulper eels, on the other hand, don't need bright colors or large sizes to stand out among the eel crowd. They have a unique trick under their fins that distinguishes them from other eel species. Because these eels are so scarce, we don't know much about them. They are, nevertheless, widespread all over the world and are classified as a least concerned species, meaning they are not thought to be in danger of extinction. More deep sea research is needed to learn more about these strange and fascinating eels. In the number three spot in our list, picture this. An innocent and peaceful squid swims around. As it notices a predator sneaking behind, the squid bolts away, only to find out that the beast can thrust its jaw three inches out of its mouth. Goblin sharks have narrow snouts and fang-like teeth, and they normally reside at the bottom of the ocean along continental shelves. They're nicknamed after legendary goblins that are featured in Japanese folklore, and they're usually found off the coast of Japan. Scientists don't know much about these infrequently encountered animals' behavior. They do believe, however, that goblin sharks, like many other shark species, are solitary. Taking our number two spot, a scaleless, long-headed creature with a voracious appetite. The black swallower isn't a legendary creature or a relic of urban legend. Barely 25 centimeters long, the black swallower often eats fish double its size with its huge jaw and expandable stomach. Unfortunately, we've never seen them feed on camera. So how did we ever get to know them? Because sometimes they swallow fish that are so large that they're not digested before they begin to decompose. As the fish decomposes inside the swallower's stomach, gas is produced, causing the swallower to float all the way to the ocean's surface. Without those swallowers being so cocky eating fishes they can't digest, we would have never been able to know why they exist at all. And at number one, we're at the finish line. This creature on our number one spot is considered to be a living fossil. The frilled shark is a bizarre, prehistoric-looking shark that lives in the open ocean and spends much of its time deep beneath the sea surface in deep, dark waters. They are predators who will lunge at potential prey and swallow it completely, even if it's relatively huge. However, their regular swimming manner is eel-like, as they swim in a serpentine pattern. Quite interesting, right? However, the population trends of frilled sharks are unknown, and they're rarely seen by people and are likely naturally scarce. The frilled shark is considered to be near-threatened by experts due to its natural scarcity and infrequent capture in select fisheries. And that's it for the video. Are you horrified or are you even more interested in these mysterious creatures? Comment down below with your thoughts. Give us a like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.